All right, so you uh, found out what this is like when you do put your opinion out there. <laughs> it was an opinion shared by a majority of whites and blacks and everyone in between who thought yes. that this officer's use of force was excessive. But you got an earful, and, and this is a family program, uh, but a lot more from people who just didn't, didn't agree with you. Could you explain? You know what, and, and I was very shocked. If people want to see the comments, you go to my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, at Gianno Caldwell, and I encourage people to follow me there. But especially on my Instagram, I got almost 500 comments for simply putting, thank God justice was served, Derek Chauvin, guilty on all charges. All charges. And I was gaslighted. I couldn't believe it. People are not operating in facts. We're talking about people who are part of the conservative base here, people who are friends of mine um, that I've seen time and time again who say that we are a party of law and order. If we're a party of law and order, then the facts state that the jury has declared that J uh, Derek Chauvin was guilty on all charges. He is the reason that uh, uh, George Floyd is dead today. Why is it that people are amplifying these well, conspiracy thought, theories saying that John, of the ones that I was reading, a lot of them thought that he had nothing to do with it. And I thought, you know, that that, that was a bit of a stretch. I, I mean, uh, uh, what did you make of that? I'm seeing comments on my, my Instagram, again, at Gianno Caldwell, where people say that George Floyd actually killed himself. What is this? Who comes up with this irrational garbage? We should not be in this place right now. This is the reason why people are making fun of some of this conservative speech, because people are literally operating in conspiracy theories that are not based in any facts. If you believe that George uh, Derek Chauvin's trial was not fair, then provide evidence. We live in a country where we've seen juries convict mobsters, terrorists, uh, gang members, all kind of folks who can literally target their families. We've not heard any reporting about that being done in the Derek Chauvin case, and if that, if, if that that happen, then show the evidence. We have to be a, a party of law and order, and that should be consistent across the board. I shouldn't see this kind of garbage from conservatives. I expect to see things like this on the other side, but not with my own party. Therefore, I have to speak out against this kind of stuff, because this is a very serious moment in our country, one where we should be uniting as Americans, not being divided over something that simply isn't true. Facts are facts. You can't change that. So don't try to gaslight me on social media because you disagree with simple facts. It's inappropriate and it's not what our movement should be about. We offended by a couple of them who said you harbored that view because you're an African-American. That's correct. And I'm an American. I'm a human. I'm a Christian. I am an African-American. And I think logically about the and I come to logical conclusions. George Floyd may be alive today if it wasn't for Derek Chauvin putting his knee on his neck for nine minutes. He had his knee on his neck for uh, three minutes past after he died. We know that. There was 38 uh, witnesses that came up that the prosecution called. They all said the very same thing. So why are we arguing with facts? We should be beyond that at this moment. We should be talking about police reform. We saw Tim Scott's statement. We've seen a number of other Republican leaders' statements saying it was the right verdict. We should move on. Let's talk about police reform and ensure that something like this never happens again. And I'm calling on all of my conservatives to speak out loudly against this kind of foolishness. We shouldn't be a party of that. We are not conspiracy theories, and we shouldn't be gaslighting individuals for having opinions uh, which mainstream agrees with. God bless you, Gianna. Good or ill, you speak your mind, young man. Gianna Caldwell, Fox News political analyst. Thank you. Podcast, books, so much, much more.